Okay, there we go. Okay, so you're watching the Andre Le Chef show, and I'm the star of the show, and um, I'm Andre. And uh, we're gonna make uh, dinner, even though I don't really have time to eat dinner, and in fact, I don't really have time to do the show. So let's be quick, we got half an hour. Let me set the timer. So what can you make in half an hour? Well, instead of 20 minutes, let's make um, fish with rice, a cool Asian soup. Let me close this lens so I don't look at myself. An Asian soup and some type of dessert. Um, we're gonna start out with, and rice. Start out with rice. You don't need a bag of rice this big but I eat a lot of rice, and I like this rice. This is called basmati rice, and it cooks really quick, which I really like. And it's also really cheap if you buy a huge bag like this. Um, for those of you... Whoa! Whoa! For those of you that know how to cook rice, um, it's totally simple. Two parts water, one part rice. So I'm going to say this is, I'm going to grab a handful of rice, two handfuls of rice, like that, and I'm going to eyeball two handfuls of water, like that. So there you go. There's the rice, whoa, and the water just spilled on the ground. You throw it on the oven or the stove, light it, turn up to high, take your lid, put it on. Um, I put just a little bit of spike. For those of you who don't know what spike is, I'm a pretty big promoter of spike, even though you're not allowed to promote products. Spike is one product I'm promoting. Add a little bit of spike to it. Okay? Then, take one frozen, frozen, that's right, fish filet, unwrap it. I was going to try to thaw, but I didn't have time, because I'm running out of time. All right, so this is salmon. Oh, sh yeah. This is salmon with um, a small amount of fecal matter particles on it because my dogs come in here and they step in their dog crap outside and I just dropped this on the ground and um, I'm not gonna wash it because I don't have time. I'm gonna take the frozen, I'm gonna throw it on top of the rice. Cover it up. I'm gonna bring that to a boil. Part one is done. All right, next, let's make some soup. We are going to make my specialty, which is ramen noodle extreme deluxe soup. If you've got one of these slicer dicer things, you can adjust how thick it slices. I'm gonna slice this carrot super thin, too thin. Super thin. Shit. Shoot. That's... Did I say shit? Not allowed to swear on TV. So I'm going to cut this super thin. Like so. Probably not a good idea to talk while cutting. But tough. This is a cooking show. Oh, shoot. Drop that on the ground too. <laughs> Definitely not going to wash that. Alright, everything's going to get boiled. So if there's a little bit of dog fecal matter in the food, well... Sure, it'll get sterilized by the boiling water, right? I hope. Okay, so you got a small pile. Got about a handful worth of carrots. Put them there. Take your knife. If you've got a knife, this is a pretty good one. I personally like the woo stuff. Uh, and then I chop them into like much smaller pieces. So chop, 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 chop. Then take your wok. Walk on, turn it on high, put a little oil in it, oil, I always use olive oil, take the carrots, which are now sliced into even smaller pieces, very thin like that, throw them in there, they're good to go, almost done with the water. Next, take a zucchini, cut the zucchini, cut the end off, cut the end off, the other end off, cut it in half down the middle. Once again, use your special tool and slice it into small little pieces, like so. 
These are very, very thin. I mean, this is very thin, okay? Look how thin that is. That's super thin. So I'm gonna slice about half this, just like I did with the carrot, trying not to cut myself, which would not be good, but would make good for good TV. Need too much real blood on TV. One of these days, I'll cut my finger off, and that'll be really exciting. All right, same thing. Got about a pile, you know, about a hand's worth. Chop, 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 chop. Now ask yourself, what cooks faster? A super soft piece of zucchini or a super hard carrot? Duh, the carrot takes longer to cook. That's why I threw it in first. Take the carrot, stir it around a little bit, like so. What else do we need to add to this? We need a little bit of garlic. I wouldn't call myself lazy, but I love pre, pre-minced garlic. It's like, I don't know, six or seven bucks, but come on, how many garlic cloves would you have to do? Get like, you know, that much garlic, throw it in there. Take the zucchini, which I've already pre-cut, throw it in there. What else can we add to this? We'll add a little bit of onion. I'm not a big onion eater, so I cut off the onion. I cut one section about like that, about that thin. Cut off both ends, like so. Oh yeah, like you can see that, like that. And then I'm gonna mince it. Mince it means cutting it really small. Whenever you cut, you don't cut like this. You pull your fingers in and cut like this so you don't cut the tips of your fingers off which would make good TV, but we're not gonna do that today. Cool. All right, so, got a small amount of onion. That goes in there as well. What else can we add? Um, 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 we need soy sauce. Soy sauce, I buy my soy sauce in bulk, and then I put it in one of these things, it's much cheaper that way. Two or three squirts of soy sauce, so if you look closely, you can see you got carrot, you got zucchini, you got onion, you got your garlic, and you got a little bit of soy sauce. And that is the base. Take a wooden spoon. If you got a real wok spoon, use it. Stir it up just a little bit, and that's going to cook for, I don't know, however long. Next, let's make a dessert. One thing I don't have in my house are bread products. I do not have much bread product at all. In fact, um, I really don't even have any bread product, so that means I have to make my own. So let's go ahead and make some muffins, okay, because muffins are good. We're going to go with whole all-purpose flour. Take about two cups worth. No, let's make a double batch. Four cups worth and uh, large handful of raisins and um, we'll take some nectarines you know what we'll do we won't even skin them because we're on time and I just cut them into small little pieces like so and we'll leave the skin on and then I'm gonna mince them that means cut them really really small then pulling my fingers in so I don't cut my hands I hope you guys can see this. This is with the peel on. Why am I doing that? Because I'm lazy and I don't have much time. I have 19 minutes left on the show and uh, that means I gotta go fast. All right. So, got that minced? Throw that in there. Looking like that. Milk. Brown sugar. Come on, brown sugar. Where are you at? Shoot, tell me I have brown sugar. Oh, I can't believe I'm on brown sugar. All right, so I don't have any brown sugar. I'm going to use about a tablespoon's worth of uh, baking powder and about a tablespoon's worth of baking soda. Maybe a little less baking soda. 
You're going to add just a little bit of salt. Salt. A little bit of milk. And um, you can see the stir fry or the soup is looking good. So the soup's going to be really easy. I just got to add water to it. I'll use the same water. Pour the water in. The oh shit out. The rice is going. You turn it down as low as you can. Oh my god, the knob just came off the freaking thing. This is great. All right, this is how not to cook. Um, I think this needs another one of these little tangerine things. So I'm going to throw another one in and I'm going to cut it really small again. And that's that. That's that. Um, I know I've got this bag of walnuts left over that I've been trying to get rid of, so put the walnuts on the thing, punch him like he would like, I don't know, punch that bully at recess. Take the walnuts, dump them in there. I don't have any brown sugar, so I'm going to use white sugar, just like that. What else do I have? I've got a semi-rotten pomegranate. Whoa, it's more than just semi-rotten. Oh my gosh, it's hard as a rock. God. All right. That is not working. It broke. Ah, oh, look at that. Perfect. And I'm going to try to kind of squeeze some of this in there just because it's going rotten and I don't want to like burn it. Oh, shoot, I got some of my shirt. This shirt is toast now. All right, so the pomegranate is in there like that. What else can I throw in here? I guess there's nothing else. Oh, here. We'll take a little orange juice, concentrate about that much, put it in there like that. We'll take this whole mess, we'll stir it together like so. Need some more water. We'll add milk instead because I don't have any water handy. We'll stir it all together. Stir, stir, stir. How much time do I have? 16 minutes. Whoa, it's going to be tight. All right. Okay, that looks good. So it's about that consistency, which means it needs a little bit more milk. And I'm going to throw a couple eggs in it. <laughs> My egg eating days are almost done. Watch this, this is how real cooks do it. One hand. Oh shoot. They try not to throw the shells in. And the third egg, because this is probably the last eggs I'm ever going to eat for the rest of my life. And there's a lot of shells in there. All right. So we're going to stir this all together into a big soupy mess of gunk. And it's like that consistency. Okay? Next. Oven's already been going. The soup base looks pretty good. Could use a little bit more water. About a cup more water. That's that. Next, you need these things. These are for cupcakes. You do not need to buy the cupcake insert things. That's a total, total waste of money. Okay? Total waste of money. I'm going to add a little more water to the rice because I put it down. And I can already smell that it's burning. Mmm, yummy. Take your spray stuff. Spray it in all the little holes. Take your spoon. We'll see how this all turns out. Fill it to right about there. I'm 
not in such a rush, but I have 13 minutes to pull this off and I want you to see the finished product. Okay, so it's like that. I preheated the oven. The oven is 450 or 400, but since the knob broke off, I really don't know how hot it is. The soup base looks super good though. You can see that. Um, the next thing I do is I take the ramen noodles. Oh, I better finish the other thing. All right, so we're spraying. It's great. Take your thing. Another thing. Just fill them up till they're about level. You know what? This spoon has holes in it. This is not the right utensil. What is this saying? Poor carpenter blames the tools. I'm not blaming anybody for anything. I'm just saying these are going to be delish. And in fact, it's been so long since I've had any carbs. I'm just excited to have carbs. Right. So, scrape the rest of it down into the bottom, throw it in there, throw it in there. Throw it in there. If you have any that are empty or not quite full, like I have one here, you're supposed to fill that with water. That way it doesn't uh, I don't know what. I'm not going to do that. Those go in the oven. I have 11 minutes left to the show. Whew. Oh, yeah. So back to the ramen noodle thing. I take my ramen noodles. I set them on the counter. I pound them like I did the nuts. Because I'm not looking for spaghetti. I'm looking for just the noodle action. And take your knife. Cut it open. Whatever packets come with the noodles. You set them aside, you take your noodles, you throw them in, and they're like that. Okay? Then, I take half of the packet. I take all the vegetables, throw the vegetables in, and I take half of the spice packet. Because really, the spice is just MSG, and we really don't need that much MSG in our bodies. And if you can see this, it's kind of red, so I think it's probably going to be a little bit spicy. Find a clean spoon, stir it together, find a lid, cover it up, and the soup is done. The noodles will continue to cook, and um, the rice is going, the, uh, the, the, uh, the muffins are cooking. You're watching the Andre the Chef show, I have 10 minutes left. I've got a business meeting in 45 minutes. And I look like I just crawled out of bed, only that's not the case. I've been working non-stop. For the so we've got 10 minutes to kill. I don't know what to say. The rice will be done in exactly 10 minutes. The muffins will be done in exactly 10 minutes. And the soup is already done. And we're only 20 minutes in the show. So in the meantime, what I think I really should do is shave. So I'm going to go shave. I'll be right back. And you thought I was going to leave you behind. Not a chance. Okay. Here's how you shave. You take shaving cream. You take a razor. You shake the shaving cream. You put some on your hand. You slap it on your face. Like that. You do your bottom of your chin, 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 chin. Let the water heat up because that's important. Heat the blade up. I always pull the little stopper, that way you save money because you're not wasting water, just having it go the whole time. And um, let the shaving cream kind of soak into your skin for just a little bit, all right? And then I always start the sideburns and go down. Whoa, I haven't shaved in a while. This is gonna, like, and this razor, I think my. 
Like my daughter must have been shaving her legs with this thing because it is killing me. I don't know why guys always the weirdest faces when they shave. Once again, most important cut is by the sideburns. Check your sideburns, make sure they're the same height. They are. Always shave a little bit more in here because it sucks when like you have like hair in there. Oh great, I'm bleeding. Um, and then kind of upward. Kind of a bony chin like me. That edge can get cut really easily. And I have a butt chin, so I gotta spread the butt open to get the hair out. Feel it, see where you missed. I missed there. Okay, then you use cold water. Cold water, that way it'll close your pores down. And these bags under my eyes will kind of get a little smaller. Then here's the scrubby crap. It like kind of is bristly and kind of gritty. Sure you like get a lot of water up in your hair. That one makes a kind of looks like you took a shower too. Because you know this is a business meeting and there are thousands of dollars at stake. And I hope that thing stops bleeding. May may not. Next, I use like a moisturizing cleansing crap, like a chick practically. And I didn't mean that in like the derogatory word. Weak down a heart, I'm a feminist. All right. And then you dry your face with a towel. I don't have a towel. I don't want to get socks. It's going to have to work. And then I put some moisturizer where like I'm really the most wrinkly, which is around my eyes. And then I use Adidas. Adidas. I don't know why, because I'm obsessed with tennis. Adidas aftershave. Put some there. Put some under your armpit. Put some in the nether regions. Put some on your butt cheeks. And you are good to go. All right, I don't know how much time is left, but I think dinner is served. Gosh, I hope that bleeding stops. All right, let's go check to see the food. Okay, so we've got three minutes left and the soup is done and it is now a super sort of ramen noodle uh, soup with vegetables in it. Oh shoot! So no pun intended. Did you catch that, you, all you English majors out there? Super good soup. Yeah, right. Funny. Um. Now, since I already broke the nipple thing off the top of this. I'm 
gonna try to get this off without burning myself. Hey, look at that, no problem. And the fish, the salmon, the rice. Check your rice. Make sure it's soft. It's not too bad. Actually, it's really good. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water to this and cook it just a little bit more. And we have one minute left. Whew. What can I say in one minute that will leave a lasting impression upon you? Um, as far as regrets grow, because there's going to be a ton of them in your life, the more you have, the more you lived, um, it's much better to regret the things that you've done as opposed to the things that you didn't do, okay? So keeping that in mind, just do it, all right? If it's whatever it is, just do it. Um, as far as this show goes, you're watching the Andre Le Chef show. This show is on once a week, and um, I normally have time to prepare than I did today. But I didn't have much time to prepare. And that doesn't matter, because it always turns out. And look at that. There are the muffins. Let me try to get one out. Anyway, I, I can't get one out because when they cool, they'll condense just a little bit. That beeping means my time is up. And uh, the muffins. I'm actually gonna throw them in for like five more minutes. They're gonna be super good. I'm gonna press stop right now and show you what they look like when they're done. In three, two, one. All right, well, Wish me luck. I gotta go make the sales spiel. Um, you've been watching the Andre Le Chef show. This is a show about cooking healthy. It's about a show about cooking fast. It is a show about, really there's no purpose to the show except to entertain you. So you've been watching Andre Le Chef. What else can I say? Maybe a Facebook page will come up at the end if there's enough time. If there is, friend me if you're female over 27. And that's it. No men. No one under 27. Only females over 27. Those are the only friends I accept. So, hopefully it'll turn into more than just friendship. And anyway, it's work. Alright, we'll see you later. You've been watching Andre Le Chef show. The life and times. These are mine. Later. Alright.